welcome back home. Home sweet to home. Australia. Today, we're having drive full food. Yes, and letting the people in front of us order. Yeah, let's see what people like to eat. I love these episodes. These are fun. Let's go. Welcome back to another drive through food. Yes, one of our favorite series to do where we drive to a drive through food. Drive through, we go to a drive through restaurant yes. and we order whatever the car in front of us orders. It's that simple. So if they get a burger, we're going to get the exact same burger. Mm -hmm. If they get a salad, then I hope you drive into a wall. And by wall, I mean home safe home. Let's go. It's a food adventure. Now we've hit up almost every drive through restaurant in Australia. Mm -hmm. We only have a few, right? Yes, we don't have a lot of drive through Like KFC, Macca's, Red Rooster, we've done them all. So today we're going to some places that aren't so common. And the first one is a bun me drive through Bun me drive through how insane is that? Very crazy. Have you ever heard or seen a bun me drive through What is this? Hopefully, the person in front of us is, is really a hungry, hungry yes. fat boy. I should be driving behind myself because I would order so much. What if they don't order bun me? Do we go again? If you're going to a bun me drive through and you don't order bun me, then what the hell are you doing? I'm wearing my American poncho because I still have those American feels. I've got a car now. Yes, back to driving, how does it feel? It feels good. This area is called Morabin. My parents pronounce it as Morabin. Oh, there it is, I see it. The big That is so bun cool. Me. It's like a massive freaking bun me picture. Yeah, and it says drive through on it. It's now open. Whoa, and there's so cool. no one there. Cool. How are we going to oh, eat? No, there is oh, there is someone! There! Perfect timing. Let's go! I'm assuming this place is run by the Vietnamese. So I brought cash. By the way, just for the people who don't know, Australian money is like Monopoly money. Look at it. So the green is actually green. Wow, you have a hundred dollar no. <laughs> How cool is that? And the rest is like red and that's like a orange yellow. Actually true, I never thought about this. Okay, okay, there's a car behind me. God. Is he driving through too? No, he's not. Oh, there's another one. Oh my God, this place is so popular. This is really popular. So yeah. two cars just rocked up and one person has just walked into the restaurant Oh no, this guy's going for oh the drive-thru. Oh my god, there's a couple. We're going after a couple. Oh, after it's a couple. Suzuki Swift. Okay. Should we show everyone the menu? Yeah, maybe. But can you film it with your phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need the documentary right here, right? Okay, well, and then we, we also get, angles. yeah, you get two angles, then you get like the B-rolls. Bay. If they only order one thing to share, I'm going to be really upset. There's a big bun me. Number seven big bun me, which is worth $30. There's oh. seven bun me you can choose from. Oh, okay, okay. They're pretty fast though. They're really fast. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Can I just order the same thing as the car in front of us? Real pork? Yeah, whatever they got, exactly the same thing. And that's all for today. Yes. Um, do you take cash? Yes, of course. Okay, I'll see you at the front. $12, I'll see you at the window. They got one thing, bro. Maybe it's two. It's pork as well. I guess I'll eat the bread. <laughs> You'll be eating the wrap up if we only have one bun meat. <laughs> Come on, Suzuki couple. Swift. You're a couple, right? The guy and a girl, and all you get is one bun me. What are you gonna slice How it in much half? Was that for one? Like 12 bucks or something. Oh, that's expensive. Hey, yo, but it's drive through. It seems really nice. It seems like a hipster we'll kind of style. How good it is. There's a lot of presentation. Oh, they just got one. I see it. I know what you guys are thinking. Is that a pimple, Chani? No, it's not. It's just a bug that lives on my face. Yeah. I call him Sam. I'll just, I'll just get the window. You see Sam? <laughs> he lives under my skin. <laughs> Too much cheese in America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've been back for a while, but <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the cheese from America. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thanks for waiting. Oh, I haven't paid, man. <laughs> no bad, almost got it for free. That's pretty oh, good, this, this drive through so long and skinny for one minute. Thanks a lot, man. Right, Have a good day. It. See you around. You know, the first thing I noticed when I grabbed that bun me is the oh, baguette. So yeah. The baguette is really nice. It's, it's like, so it seems hard, but soft inside. Gonna be real crunchy. Okay. I need to come back here and get a chicken one. Welcome to the bun me drive-through. Look at that. 
I love the wrapping paper because there's like a picture of bun yeah, me on it. Yeah, so cute. Very sad there's only one, but it is breakfast. We're eating okay, another two yes, more times. We do have another two drive throughs to go do. So. so let's just take it easy, it's this fine. This place isn't too far, so we can always come back. Ooh. There you go. Look at that, wow. that looks so good. Yeah, they're actually really it's Stop. so long. It's like a foot long. Chilies, coriander. Can you see You got me? that pork. Let me, let me turn it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. See, look at this. That's crazy. So $12 for this. Definitely mm. very pricey for bun me. The most expensive bun me I've ever seen. But, but it's huge. But I mean, it's like skinny long instead of like fat short, you know, so it's kind of the same. <laughs> oh, because he added chili. Oh! <laughs> Seagull was trying to get the food. How's it? Can I have the bread, please? Mm. I love bread anyway, so. <laughs> I'm so hungry. So I'm having the vegetarian version, which is just bread, carrots, cucumber, and sauce. <laughs> Cheers. Yum. Yeah. I like it. Oh shit! The bread is actually pretty good. Good amount of pate. Doesn't have the creaminess that I'm used to with our go-to bun meat place. Mm, it's crispy. I like the pork crackle. Oh. It's really crispy and nice. They grill the pork, smother it in sauce, and then the crackling on top. For drive-through bun meat, mm. I mean, I'm only eating the bread. So if I had some chicken in here, I think it would be delicious. Yeah, we'll come back. It's good, yeah. I'd definitely come back, try out the chicken. I mean, you like the pork one? I mean, the drive through experience is just so awesome. Yeah. So easy and simple. Yeah, I think so too. Mm. It's got veggies, mm. got meat, it's bread. It's nice. It's like a Subway. It's like a Vietnamese Subway. No, it's just not. They're pretty damn good. I'm not upset, just a little disappointed that we didn't get more because my theory was to go for a smaller car this time and it didn't work out mm. for me. In a Suzuki Swift, which is a more affordable car, and it seems like they went for an affordable meal. And they must have shared. You can't share food you can't, oh. with your partner. Get oh. one each. Oh my God, is that cops? It's a mail car. There was another thing on the menu. It was like called the big giant bun meal or something. Mm. Every bun meal is about this size, but the big one, the giant one was like that, oh. dude. Naughty. Oh my god, a van just pulled up. That is a huge van. Should we test a our very luck and dodgy just try van. one more? You're hungry. Don't worry, we're eating at two more places after this and we'll come back for more bun me. This is good enough to try. This is what it's all about. We can't hack the system. Did you want to see what else they have to offer? Look, there's another another Audi came in. I feel Man, like rich people come here. It's different when you're kind of satisfied and full and had a pretty good meal. Okay. She's starving. How Look at her. Look at her try to tempt me. Anyway, we're heading off to the next spot now. It's what a is place that, spot? that we've eaten before. It's called El Porto's. No, it's not. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Actually, yeah, okay, I'm excited. Okay, we'll Are go. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm Let's ready. Let's get going. Big. Fun. Me. <laughs> On to the next location, which is Oporto. Now, we've eaten at Oporto before. We filmed the video there, so you know what to expect. Mm -hmm. Mainly chicken, chips, oh, chips, and burgers. I'm after a big Bondi burger. Ooh. That would be nice. My belly, my belly. How are you feeling? Are you still hungry? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You know, after we ate that, I was thinking, damn, <laughs> I'm such a fatty. For some people, that's enough. Like, that's enough. You, you mean know? the bread? Yeah. That you ate? Yeah. Sometimes I wish I did have a small appetite. Really? Why? I was, because, like, you know, I actually, you know, got full bullied, but, like, people made fun of me. Oh, really? Because I ate so much, like in high school and primary school. <laughs> what are some mean things that they said to you? I remember I went to this restaurant once and I think like... You went to a restaurant at lunch at school? No, this was like after <laughs> school. I was like eating, um, but I ordered two dishes to myself, like two full dishes. What were they? Do you remember? Yeah, it was like 
it was like a bowl of noodles and some nice. cheesy rice or something. And cheesy like, rice? Baked cheesy rice. Baked cheesy rice, yeah. god damn. Yeah, I was like eating a group and then one of the guys was just like, I don't really remember exactly what he said, but I remember how it made me feel. All right. Okay? I don't know what he really said, but it made me feel like embarrassed of myself. Oh, okay. Kind of like shame. Yeah. Like, I felt shame for eating so much food oh. to myself. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then that was when I was like, oh, okay. Wait, big bowl of noodles, cheesy baked rice at the Glen? Yes! I think that guy was me! <laughs> I remember seeing you, Tubby! Wow! <laughs> I actually love eating with you guys because it's just so much fun to be able to eat whatever. Plus and the viewers don't judge. Too. Yes! No judgement here! If I anything, love they love it. They love it, they support it. I love it. you, thank you. That's crazy because in high school, all I remember is starving because I got $5 lunch money every day. Every day. So that was all the money I got. My parents didn't give me any pocket money or like an allowance. I would save that money and I would uh, keep the $5. So every week I would have $25, yeah. but I would always be starving at school, recess and lunch. That's why I think I did really bad at school because I was always starving. So I couldn't concentrate. Oh. I remember looking at my high school ex's lunch box and okay. there was so much food in it yeah. and she wouldn't even eat it there were sandwiches there were like little tubs of yogurt ever since like i started dating her in high school yeah. i was fed from is that why you dated her from, fi <laughs> from 15 to 16 i had a growth spurt because it was the only year i was eating <laughs> i remember going to her house she had like a two-story house for me that was like holy crap you're a millionaire you're yeah. a bajillionaire yeah, she had a pool she had a pool Wow. And I walked. Why didn't you stay with her? <laughs> <laughs> Should have. I went inside her house and I remember it being like a giant maze. And I was like, excuse me, where's the toilet? She'll be like, oh, it's just past the kitchen to the left. So I go to the kitchen, but then I get lost. And I opened this massive door thinking it leads me to a room, but it was a giant walk-in pantry. Oh, the walk-in Full pantry. of like- That's my dream. You don't understand. My pantry when I was a young teenager, my parents filled it up with old ass tea random scraps from and noodles from two years ago like there were like bugs growing moths yeah. living in there like that was my pantry like there was never any food there it was all medicine and all this other chinese so crap actually like moths in there and stuff basically my mum used to have bags and bags of herbal tea but she'll never end up drinking it but she wouldn't want to throw it out because she's chinese right and it would start to grow like bugs and like little like little worms would start coming out and uh, it was nasty but anyway that's that's my pantry wow. for many years to be honest it probably still like that right now mom and dad clean it up when i saw that pantry i was so shocked i didn't even know how to react all i remember was walking in and it was like maybe like a kid walking into disneyland i noticed something wet on my feet like i stepped in a puddle of water but i realized it was just me drooling so much because there was so much delicious food it was insane god damn high school oh there's someone in front of us already hell yeah welcome to a porto known for their portuguese chicken and we're behind a bmw Ooh, x4 so it's a big bmw and hopefully we get a big meal hello hello how are you can I get the same order as the guy in front of me? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. The Bonda burger with chili and yeah. all the water? Yeah, all of it. Oh. Uh, do you want me, me in the meal or by itself? No, the same thing, the same thing. Shouldn't die from it. Drive through, please. Thank you. Water? Ah, he didn't get in a meal. Oh my gosh, she's gonna... Oh, are you okay? That's real sorrow. It seems like a small meal because I noticed he said something about Bondi. He said something about water. I didn't want to hear too much. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. So light chili with the bottom. Yes, water. yes, yes. Thank I, you. It would take it back. <laughs> Think about it. If we sold that at a music festival, oh, easy $8. Yeah. There you go, boss. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you very much. That's, That's a, so small. That's it. That's all we got. Burger and water. What's wrong with you? Oh. 
Like, what were you thinking? I told you we should have gone twice at the bun me place. That's all right, we have one more stop after this. For you, this is the worst video ever. <laughs> You're having a really tough time I feel today. I like our previous episodes. We've been way luckier. It's time for our Porto meal. Today, we it's got ourselves. It's not a meal, it's just a burger. Okay, diet plan. Oh. Chicken, lettuce, mayo. And really a bottle delicious. of water. And this lighting. Is the light okay? It's really bad Wait, lighting. I'll drive forward. Oh! So we got ourselves a bottle of water and a Bondi burger, which is a double patty mm -hmm. with their special chili sauce, a slice of cheese, and There's lettuce. There's no cheese. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cheese. Anyway, I can't wait any longer. I'm starving. Cheers. Oh. Today's episode is not about the food. It's more about traveling to the drive throughs and just chatting with our viewers and having a good time. Mm. So it's not about the food, bae, okay? Oh my God. You're really hungry. I'm not really saying anything. What do you think of the burger? Very standard. Do not open that bottle of water. Do not open it. I bought water from home, which is free already. Yes, I won't open this bottle of water at all. Oh, you already opened it. Do you want any more? No. Okay. I can have the rest? Yeah. Cool. I'm saving myself for the next meal. Now, this is a place that is very popular. You don't really see a lot of drive throughs for this restaurant, but there is one about 30 minutes away from here. Mm. So we are going on a long journey to try this place out. I would say it's Korean food. It's in a lot of K-dramas. You see a lot of people eating it in those shows and um, we go on Subway. <laughs> now this Subway is located near Cranbourne which is 30 minutes away and Cranbourne is well known for their danger. So let's get going. Subway, the final meal. Aww. Korean, Korean food. Off we go then. Off we go. To the last stop, Subway. You don't really like Subway. I eat it sometimes when I want to be healthy and eat some vegetables. We just came back from America. I gained about five kilos from eating all those Twinkies. All right. Another thing I also mentioned on YouTube was visiting dispensaries in America. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to film, but I did go to some. So I did go to a few dispensaries. I went to one in LA, one in Vegas, everywhere. one in San Francisco, like one in LA again. <laughs> I went to a few, I might say. What an, an amazing experience. Oh, it was an amazing. It was so cool. I don't know if I should say, but I have in the past dabbled in the 420 and in America, I was like, hey, it's legal. Why not try it out? I might as well just chat about it now. Well then, 18 plus only. 18. From here onwards. And in America, you're 21 plus. <laughs> Delena has never dabbled in any. It is just not my thing. She is not a bad girl. Don't do the talk. So we got to LA. I was jet lagged. I was tired. My friends told me about dispensaries how they're all over LA and it's legal there that's the first thing that got me I was like wow it's legal that's incredible so we went to a dispensary I googled one and I found out near our hotel there were about eight to nine we were at the Grove and there were nine dispensaries walkable distance away we hit up one and wow well I couldn't go inside oh you couldn't go fine. she didn't bring her passport so she didn't go in but I went inside and there was like this rocker girl with tats she was like hey Hey, how you doing? Like, what do you need? You let me know. How do you want to feel? And I was like, I don't want to want to feel. Wow, better customer service in some places. <laughs> well, of course, because they're happy all the time, baby. She asked me how I was feeling. I was like, yo, like I just came from a long flight, jet lagged. I'm wired. I can't sleep. She's like, I got the thing for you. This edible here is called sleep. Actually. It's called Sleep and it was about 20 USD for 10. So I ate two of the edibles and they tasted amazing. Grape flavored, no aftertaste, no bitterness, no nothing. Just tasted like a gummy sweetness that you would get from the grocery store. And that almost destroyed me. Two servings was way too much. I don't know what the weed scientists do in America, but they have perfected their game. Wow. And that stuff was insane. Knocked me out. I had the best sleep. I had a good time. Plus, I feel like our viewers are very 50-50 on that topic. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did ask. I put a community vote. I said, what do you guys think about me trying um, 
you know, edibles. A lot of people said yes. It was about 65% that said yes. And the other said no. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to discuss it. I'll still talk about it. Yeah. So you guys know what it's all about, but I probably won't document it. You remember we got a death threat the other day? Oh, yes. Someone sent us an email and was like, watch out. If I see you, you will die. Yeah. And, and you posted that on Instagram and everyone was like, oh my God, are you okay? Is everything all right? But you know, when I read it, I laughed. Yeah, you I was like, <laughs> do it! I feel like me five years ago would have, you know, been really paranoid, would have been like crying, I would have, you know, let right. it affect me for like yeah, the you, whole day, the whole You wouldn't week. be able to sleep. Yeah, I'm just at a place in my life where I'm just not letting anyone's actions affect me because that's out of my control. I am just exactly. going to do what I can control, which is my own feelings. So. I don't care about whatever people say. If you hate us, you hate me, that's on you. But thank you for watching our video to hate on us. But what I want to focus on is the people who love us, the people who you know give us positive energy, positive vibes, or the positive comments. That's what I want to focus on because I believe what you put out there is what you get back. Yeah. Okay. Love to all the positive people. And listen, what business do you have giving us death threats anyway? We're like a food and travel channel. I replied to it. I was like, okay, when? Let me know so I can get my shit in order. <laughs> Driving for 30 minutes now to get to this subway, which is absolutely insane. This is diabolical. This is mayhem. Subway. This is madness. You know what? Talking about subway now, I love subway cookies. You love the chop chip chick. You love the chop chick chop chop. You love the chop, yeah, dry food fruits. We dry food fruits. Why do I like fatty foods so much? Because your family also love fatty foods mm. and they're not health freaks. Mm. Like for example, when I came over and I saw your auntie eat a slice of toast with butter, there was more butter than the bread itself. <sighs> so I, I was like, oh, this is hereditary. Yes, it is. This fattiness, it runs in the family. It runs in the family. Nothing runs in your family. Okay, <laughs> great joke. We're here. We are here trying our last meal for the day mm -hmm. and it's Subway. All right, there's a car in front of us. What kind of car is it? A Toyota Corolla. Oh, what are they saying? She's got, okay. <laughs> okay, so it's like a little window yeah. and she's got a clipboard, piece of paper, and she just writes down the auto. This is so funny. This is funny as. And just because it's so ghetto, everything about it is kind of like uh, a bit low budget. The window screen, there's like a cage. Yeah, right, right, in yeah. Front of her. It might take a while yeah, because so it's, it's not necessarily fast food because they've got to like prep and make everything by hand. You know, the national instrument of Australia is the didgeridoo. Didgeridoo, it's like a long kind of cylinder tube kind of thing that makes, what does it sound like it's for like, people that don't know what a didgeridoo like sounds like? Like that. That's it. Yeah. Well, you can go like high and low, but like obviously I'm not good at doing that. Try, try, so. let's see. So you can go high and lower, what, what's an example? That sounds like the background music of a of a thriller movie. <laughs> Alright, I'll do mine. Ready? Okay. <laughs> the dog's getting triggered. <laughs> the dog's at it. It's a sausage dog. So it's been eight minutes to wait for the sub. There's a car behind us waiting for the drive through as well. Freaking massive auto bag. Let's do it. Hi there, how are you? Uh, can I order the same order that she got? Yeah. Yeah, the same thing. The exact same. With the drinks too. Yeah, like everything same. Thank you. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Or any salad. Or exact salad. same. Yeah, we're friends. We know each other, so we're yeah, we're getting the same thing. I want to play with her later. Yeah. <laughs> Play with her later. She was shocked. She was yeah. laughing. I'm really I bad at so. remembering names too. This is a conversation with someone I would meet that's new. They'll come up to me and they're like, hey, hi, how are you doing? They're like, hi. I'm like, I'm John, what's your name? Hi, I'm Mark. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm like, yeah, I, you know, I make videos. And then straight away in my mind, I'm like, what was his name again? I can't sit in one place for too long. I get fidgety. In Vietnamese school, everyone was studying. And then I stood on the table and I started doing this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Wait, H, I, J, K, K. Yeah. 
Really? I went so to Chinese long? school for four years straight. Who went to Chinese school? Every but Sunday. But you can't speak any Chinese, though. 你好,我不学好. What did you do at Chinese school, then? 我放教. And Vietnamese school, I went for six to seven years. <gasps> yep, for seven years, I, I stayed in grade one. Really? In grade one, for seven, for seven years. For seven years, yep. You that. stayed in the same grade for seven years? Tôi không biết. Tôi ngủ. Tôi không biết. Tôi làm cái gì? So by the seventh year, I was already 15 and the kids were six and they had fluent Vietnamese. Like they flew them down from Vietnam and I was like, I eat her because of the, or I eat her. Do you know the signs? Mu? Because it looked like a hat. Oh my god. Bơ ơ bơ, mu bơ. Ê mè, hỏi. Me? Me? Uh, suck. suck me? <laughs> wow. Well, I love you. So the only thing I learned from Vietnam, Vietnamese school, <laughs> to this day is probably Chu Nhat. They always started the class like that. Hôm nay Chu Nhat and every now and then I was naughty and the teacher would be like, come up to the front, do this now. And I will just stand oh. there, sweating, pale, sweating shaking yeah. he's like why don't you listen this is why you don't know how to do anything oh on sunday God. you're talking you do nothing yeah. oh thank nice. you thank you so much have a nice day Ooh. oh my god are these the same subs or different oh yeah you have the tasty nut. no cookies you have the tasty mum. i think it's tasty cheese no, hold on. Welcome to her life. Okay, you know what? It's not that bad. It's literally meatballs, cheese, and lettuce. Oh, yum. So it's a meatball sub with some sort of white sauce, like a ranch with tasty cheese melted. But you have no lettuce in yours. Yeah. Mine has lettuce. Okay, mine has lettuce in it. Mmm. I haven't had a meatball subway in so long. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bomb. Oh man, that's good. That hit the spot. The V's pretty good with a meatball sub. Ooh, that's a good combination. It's drawing closer and closer to peak hour traffic, so I'm gonna head back home. Oh my God, there's breadcrumbs everywhere. It's my dad's car. Dad would eat toast every morning on his way to work and he'll get crumbs everywhere in his car. And to this day, the, the crumbs are still there. That was probably the heaviest and most fatty thing you get from Subway. Yeah, this is probably the best thing from Subway. So I'm glad we got this. Yeah, and yeah. it wasn't like full of veggies. Yeah, right? it's been amazing. I've only had good meals today. We played this couple game yes, at yes. the friend's birthday. I mentioned this as well. I don't want to <laughs> boast, but we came first at the couple quiz. <laughs> but there was a game where it was like, you have one word, and you have to think of the same thing. Oh, this is an example. So the word would be red and would have to write the exact same word. Yeah. So I would maybe write heart and she would have to write that and then we'll get a point. But if you wrote like the flash, we'll lose obviously because yeah. it's not the same word. We didn't do too well on that. Yeah. We did well on the other quiz, oh, which yes. was like, what's her favorite food? What's her like favorite this, about favorite each that? Other, yeah. Our relationship, we killed that. But the telekinesis game, was yeah. hard. We'll try it right now, okay? Oh. So tree, when I say three, two, one, we have to say the exact same thing. Doesn't matter, it's just, it's all about that, that mind freaking connection. Sure. Tree, three, two, one. Groot! Ah! All right, let's do another one. I didn't even think of Groot, and I love Groot. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, we'll do pie, okay? Think of pie, one word. Three, two, one. Aussie! Oh. Wait, Apple? What did you say? Apple pie. Apple. <laughs> We're not good at this yeah, one. We yeah. need to train. We need to train more. Uh, the number three. Three, okay? Uh, well, I can't think of anything. Like, I'm Just whatever, the first thing that pops in your head that you would think I would also say. Okay, ready? Three, but well, this is three. Three, two, one. Some! Finger. Three finger? <laughs> Three finger. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I take it. I said some. What is some? How? Some. Three some. <laughs> it slow me, love. <laughs> oh, three some. Last one. Well, I'll do an easy one then. Okay, fine. Mac. Okay, 
Three, two, one. Donalds! Wow. Easy, another one. Fatty. High. Three, two, one. Way! 20. High 420. Highway. What? Why would you say highway? We're on the highway right now. Last one. Diet. Diet is the word we have to say the same thing. Ready? Three, two, one. You're yeah. never doing it. What did you say? I said death. Death. One more, ready? Okay. Um, gay. Okay, okay. Yeah? Three, two, one. Me! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Are you trying to say something? Uh, uh, um, that's the end of our Drive Full Force video. Drive Full Force. I hope you enjoyed. What the hell's up with the, the camera? Whoa, we're falling this way. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video, part three of the drive food restaurants. We had so much fun. Yeah. Good chats, good times, good jokes. I hope you stay around because we got some great videos coming up. Yeah, some so with my excited. dad, some with me. We're gonna have a really great time. Yeah. So happy to be back in Melbourne filming the Melbourne videos. Yes. So thank you for watching. Thanks for Enjoy watching, guys. All the best. Take care. Take care.